to my channel. So today I'm doing a big haul of Aritzia, Skims, and Sephora. I did get some stuff during the Sephora sale, so that did come in the mail. And I think it ends on Monday, the sale. So I definitely want to get this up to see, um, just so you guys can get any last minute things if you need, just based off of my recommendations. Um, not that I know a lot about makeup, but why not share it with you guys? Also, Paisley... Um, is on a chicken, rice, and pumpkin diet this week because her stomach's been bothering her. So that is why her beard is all yellow. She's just been like eating a lot of pumpkin. But um, she's feeling better. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the haul. So I am going to start with Aritzia, actually. So I got some stuff from Aritzia, and I actually, and I actually have a bunch of stuff on my wish list as well, as well which I think I'm just going to end up pur purchasing it tonight because, you know, like... I just can't stop thinking about it, so I just kind of want to get it. And also, their stuff sells out, and then it doesn't restock until, like, August. So it'll be, like, pre-order for August, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to want it then. So um, I just figured, like, I might as well just get it. But anyways, let's get into the haul. Everything will be linked down below, and also my sizing as well. So to start off, um, I got two pants from them. So the first one is new. I haven't heard anyone talk about them. They're the published pants. And they're so pretty. They're like this, I forget the exact name of the coloring and stuff, but I'll definitely say it in the description down below for where the link is. But it's like this off-white, like bone kind of color. And it's or like ivory-ish. And it's just so pretty and like so classy and like obviously so timeless and staple. And these pants are a little bit more of like a fitted kind of tailored pants. And then they flare out at the bottom. And so I ordered this in a size 4 and 6. I ended up returning the 4 and I'm definitely keeping the 6. The 4 was definitely too tight. The 6 is like plenty of room around my waist and my glutes. Because I didn't want this to be like too tight where it's just like not good to wear to work or in front of parents. Like this I feel like is really good to wear for both of those things in your right size. And this color just goes with everything. And it's just like the perfect amount of high waisted in the size 6. The 4 again was just like a little off. So I love this fit on me so much. And then I'm pairing it um, first with this bodysuit that I got. And this is in the coffee color. You know, I love brown. So I had to get this color and this just seemed like a staple bodysuit. It's a little different than their other ones because this is, this is the contour bodysuit, but like the shape was a little bit different the way that the sleeves were and stuff and I get a medium in their contour bodysuit just because I don't want it to be like looking too tight on me and I just feel like the medium is like the perfect fit on me and this you don't have to wear at least I don't have to wear a bra with it just fits really well and just like kind of snatches you in and it's just like again a really timeless kind of color and goes with so many things especially in the pants I just got and then also I surprisingly don't have any of these tops so like I always see people talking about them these are from Babaton and they come in so many different colors. So I got this, I should really look up the colors, let me see. Okay, so the published pant was in matte pearl and this is also matte pearl. So I paired them together as like a monochrome look and it's just so cute. And I just feel like that look is just really in right now. And I feel like it'll be so good to go out to dinner during the summer or if you're on a vacation or something, like just with a pair of nice nude heels and it just looks so good and it just looks so put together and so comfortable and again you can mix and match this with so many things this one's a size small and it fits perfectly again like it just like i don't have to wear a bra with it and it doesn't like dig in anywhere and it just fits really nicely so this i really like and then obviously i had to get in another color so i got it in black because black also just goes with everything i feel like this is a staple top um that's just like so easy to pair with so many things. You dress it down with jeans or something. Um, so I got it in black too, and I actually paired it with the Wilfred pants, that the effortless pants that I got recently. I showed it in my last vlog, but I figured I'd show them here too, since so it's my first time getting the effortless pants. So this I also tried a four and a six, and I definitely like the six better as well. The four again was like just the seam in the front was just like really tight, and the waist was pretty tight too. So this is like definitely a, like a like loose but the four was definitely a no-go so also I got this in the tall version so I'm 5'8 which is recommended you get the tall it is a little long when I wear it with just like white sneakers I don't think it necessarily looks long but like it hits right at the floor with sneakers however I like getting the long version for me because it looks really good with heels which is where I wore it with in this clip 
and it looks really good paired with that black top. Like it's also a really cute dinner outfit. Um, and you just look so put together. So I actually also ordered this in white and that should be coming in May if the pre-order is right. So that would be really good for summer. Again, that would look really good with these tops as well and a nice pair of heels out to dinner. I just feel like that's like something an adult would wear. You know, I feel like a lot of my closet might be stuff that like a young, like I graduated college, you know, in my 20s kind of person would wear. And I just feel like I need to start thinking about how I'm getting older. I need to start having pieces that I would wear if I'm like a mom. Not that I'm having a baby anytime soon, but like, you know, I want to have those like capsule wardrobe type of pieces. <laughs> Even though if you look at my wardrobe, I have just like way too much stuff. Okay, and then lastly from Aritzia, uh, <laughs> I, again, I talk about capsule wardrobe and then here I am getting two hoodies in two different kinds of grays. <laughs> yeah, it's like either one way or the other. So basically, if you watch my Aritzia hauls, you know I like the boxy zip up hoodie in a size small. And I just been thinking about getting these grays for a while because I just love gray. So, and I couldn't decide between the two. That's also why I like didn't get them. And I was like, you know, let me just get, let me just get both of them. So I got both of them. This is the light Heather cloud gray, and this is the Heather chrome. So I'll do a clip side by side of me wearing both of them, just so you could see me wearing both of them at the same time. But like the reason why I'm so torn is also because like I got, I already have Heather chrome sweatpants from Aritzia. So I wanted to like wear this with the sweatpants. And then I also have, he Heather Cloud Gray sweat shorts from Aritzia, so I wanted to pair this with the shorts. So like this is really good like more in the winter and this is really good more in the summer. So I'm just like, I just like both and I just can't make a decision. Um, if I, like I maybe like the Heather Chrome a little bit more, surprisingly I thought I would want this one, but I feel like I need to keep this one because it looks really good with the shorts. I don't know, like I also have the full zip scuba from Lulu. Um, and also the Catch a Breath from Lulu hoodie that's gray. I'm just gonna lay it out to show you like all the different types of grays, but they're just all so different, you know? And I don't know what to do about it <laughs> besides keep them all. Okay, so yeah, this was the Heather Chrome and this is the Heather Cloud White one. And then that's the Lulu Full Zip in gray. And that's the Catch a Breath hoodie in gray. So they're all pretty similar to the lighter gray, I guess but I just love gray. Now we're gonna move on to skin. So I'm gonna actually start with like their bodysuits since I'm wearing that and I paired it with some of the Theoritzia published pants. So the first one, the one I'm wearing, it, they're, they got two faux leather bodysuits from them in a size small. This is a cement color, so pretty. It's like very neutral and I really like them. I feel like I haven't heard anyone talk about them, but they just snatch you right in. So I also got the square neck one this is in the color shell which i thought that the shell color would be like a white but it's actually more of like a light minty kind of green which i, I don't know how i feel about it because i wasn't expecting it like i wanted it more of like a white kind of color um but at the same time it's like very unique and is good for the summer as well so the difference obviously is this one's high neck and this one's scoop neck I love both of them, but I think if I already had another one, which I think I want to because I really like them, I want the Jasper color as well, I think I would get it in this style because this one has a, um, a zipper on the back here and it goes like all the way up obviously and it's really hard to zip that up by yourself so that's the only annoying part is this one's like really hard to just like get up and like zip, you have to like really maneuver yourself. Um, but this one's easier. Also the bodysuits, like you don't feel like you're gonna fit into it because it's so tight, but then all of a sudden it just like scoops right in and just like sucks you right up and it's so good. Um, and also this one has like a built-in kind of bra in it, which is really cool. This one doesn't have that, but I don't need to wear a bra with it because it's just like kind of smooths everything out. And then the bottom is a thong bottom and it's super stretchy and there is a clasp, so we love that. And then also one thing to note about this one is the armhole is a little small, which I thought was like too small, but then actually it ends up being really good because it just also like snatches you in around here as well. Like if it was bigger, it might, wouldn't like snatch you in as much. So it fits like really, really well. It's like tailored just perfectly. So I definitely want this in a Jasper color as well. But you can even see like, I don't know if you could tell, like it even like has some shape to it here. It's just, super super flattering and really good quality 
And again, I feel like this would just go with so many things and you can dress it up or down. Like right now, I'm actually just wearing this with sweatpants and it's so comfortable. Um, the only thing was the zipper, but now that I just need to clasp and unclasp going to the bathroom, that shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Okay, right, now onto like some more loungy stuff. So first is this, um, I think it's called the Fits Everybody High Neck Sports Bra or something like that in the color Onyx in a size small. So I feel like I see a lot of people wearing this um, and I do really like it. I didn't expect it to have like, there's like a kind of a seam around here on the armhole. And then there also is like a big band at the bottom here. So I don't know, I didn't really expect that much. So the band does kind of dig in a little bit if that would bother you. But the it's, this material itself is so comfortable and so stretchy. I wear this bralette. I have in so many colors, I wear it every day. It's so comfortable, it's a fits everybody bralette. And um, it's that same material as the bralette and pretty much the same band too, I guess. It's just um, like hidden underneath like a seam here. So yeah, and then it has a racer back back, so it's very open. I don't think it's like supportive enough to really work out in it. I mean, you could probably do some low impact workout in it, but other than that, like no high impact because there's like no support in this at all, but it's very, very comfortable, so lightweight and so stretchy. And then I also got <laughs> these tops in three different colors, so I couldn't decide. They're just like all like, staples i feel like it's so she came out with a cotton rib collection so these are the um like crop tops from them and i got it in black gray and bone and then i just wore them with the fits everybody bralette and um so this i guess this i guess like i technically don't need this and the <laughs> this one but it's like different you know like this is actually real so these tops are way more cropped than you would think like it doesn't even look that cropped here but when you put it on it's like super cropped and this actually i do like the amount of coverage it provides in the back like it's not like a racer back it provides a good amount of coverage in the back too so i don't know i just feel like these are just really good throw on pieces to lounge in and like with the summer coming up these also would be good for working out too with a sports bra underneath if you just want to like wear some kind of things have a little bit more coverage than just a sports bra. This is actually really good, I think, for working out too, since it is like very cropped and um, so it's like not that hot or anything, but still provides you with like that little bit more of coverage. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like those are good pieces to have. And then lastly, from her cotton, cotton rib collection, I got the dress, which I love. I was, so I get really nervous about dresses like these because they, can be too short and ride up on me. This I felt like was the perfect length. And I mean, I only wore it walking around my apartment, but it didn't ride up at all on me. And I am, like I said, 5'8", so I'm not like short by any means. And it still fit really well. And it's just like, I don't know. I know these are kinds of dresses you probably get cheaper somewhere else, but I feel like, you know, Skim just has really good quality. And like their fit is just perfect too. Like I feel comfortable not wearing a bra in this and I feel, like the perfect amount of covered around my neck and my arms and like I said the perfect length too like when I get a cheaper dress like this like say Fashion Nova like I feel like it would ride up on me this one I don't feel like it rides up on me so I love that all right lastly let's move on to Sephora so I actually got a chance to use a lot of this stuff because I wanted to take advantage of the sale by just getting like restocks of stuff I actually didn't really need anything restocked so I did end up buying some new stuff, which I get nervous about if I'm gonna like it or not, but I actually used most of this for my look today and I liked it. So um, to start off, we have hair stuff. So I got the Orb, is it Orb or Orb? Orbe? I think it's Orb. Hairspray, it's a super fine hairspray and my hairdresser uses on me on my wedding day, like these products and I just really like them. And not to mention they're so aesthetic to like this black bottle. This is a super fine hairspray. And I actually did notice like this spray is a lot nicer. I usually use the big sexy hairspray. Um, and it's just like nothing special. It smells like chemicals and stuff. But this one smells pretty good. And it, I don't know if you saw the mist at all. But it is like a very fine mist. Rather than like a really like intense spray. I just love that mist. So I actually really like this. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. And then secondly, from that same brand, I got their nourishing hair oil. 
So again, really nice bottle here. And it's just like a serum that has argan oil, I believe in it. Yeah, it has like, I guess, coconut and argan oil, shea butter, uh, jasmine, lemon, sandalwood. Yeah, all that stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's really good. A little does go a long way. I usually use the Olaplex bonding oil. So I'm going to see how it compares to that. Um, I feel like I don't notice too much difference between the two because I've only used this for like a day right now. But I'll see, you know, using it over time if I end up grabbing it more than Olaplex. But either way, um, these products are just known to be really good. I know they're expensive, so that's why I want to get and try them during the sale. Okay, next, this I feel like is seen everywhere is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um, so I ended up getting this like tiny bottle of it right here. Um, and I got the shade 4.5, which is medium. So I actually only got this small size because the bigger size was out of stock in the colors I would have wanted. So I ended up getting the travel size and also I wasn't sure if I'd be like a 4 or 4.5. So it's also why I wanted the smaller size. But now I really like it and I want the bigger size, but it's all out of stock. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, this is what you put on before your foundation. It's almost like primer. So I did put a primer down and then I put this and then I put my foundation. So it's like a sponge here. I just wipe it on and then I, um, blended it with my beauty blender, but it is like really nice. So I'm going to try swabbing it here. So I swabbed it. Right, sorry, I have like spray tan hands. Um, let's try like blending it in. Oh my God, this is why I don't do Sephora hauls. So I don't know if you can tell, but I just felt like it actually like really did just make everything like smooth and also like shimmery at the same time, but not too shimmery. So really like this and I will be looking out for the bigger bottle. <laughs> so for now, I'm like I'm using this on special occasions. And then also from Charlotte Tilbury, I got the Beauty Light Wand. It's like a highlighter, yeah, easy highlighter in the shade Spotlight. So this is interesting application because it is like this and you like turn it to be open and then you squeeze a little bit out and then just dab it here and then like it dabs highlighter on you and then I just like blend that in also with a beauty blender and yeah I liked the application of this obviously super easy and definitely provides a good amount of highlight so I liked that as well and I like that shade okay, and then I got blush which I don't usually wear blush but you know I was like let's try blush so I got the NARS blush and this is in the shade orgasm so it's a very tiny little thing here right here okay and then I got I was like well I'm gonna, I need to get a blush brush now so I just got this random one like a Sephora one it's the 99 one and I liked it it's like you just dab that into your um, blush and then just come right here and it was like the perfect amount of application so that was perfect I don't need like a fancy fancy brush so this was like did the job so I like that. And then I got, I've been meaning to try this for a while. I just kept forgetting the Clinique Bottom Lash, um, which I'm someone who likes having mascara on my bottom lashes. Um, and you definitely want to use, you know, something finer for those lashes. And also it's like hard to find something that doesn't get, you know, like residue or over the day just gets like mascara underneath your eyes. And I've been wearing this since like noon and it's now five o'clock and i haven't had anything like under my eyes at all which is awesome so it's just like really tiny um tiny little brush here and it provides like just a little bit on your bottom lash and it is amazing so i definitely love this one i'm going to be using this a lot and it's just like in the shade black but really like that if you're a bottom lash person i feel like you need this Okay, and then lastly, I haven't used this one yet because I my lips are kind of chapped. I didn't feel like putting on lipstick yet, but I usually use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, K, Kim KW or KKW lipstick with the Pillow Talk lip liner, um, but I decided to try the Pillow Talk uh, lipstick as well. So I picked that up. Let's open this up. And yeah, it's just like these are what her lipsticks look like and and here's the pillow talk so the pillow talk looks definitely darker than the kim kw that i wear the kim kw is definitely more of like an intense nude this one's more of a dark like nudish brown for sure 
So I definitely want to try that out. And yeah, I guess that, that is it for the haul. I love everything I got. I'm definitely going to go back and make another Aritzia order. Um, just like with summer coming up, I just, you know, am in the mood to get some stuff. So yeah, that is it. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.